I supposed to do something? You can do whatever you want. Hi! What's up? How's it going, bud? What's up? Good. First time we were, like, on time in the... Jacob, say <laughs> what's up really obnoxiously, like, you know, the thing. I'm not gonna do that. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it for the views. Ah, there we go. jacked up, don't they? Oh, I guess I can... What's happening? Well, the brakes in this car are absolutely horrible. What's going on? Party in the middle of the highway? Yeah, oh, there's somebody there. <laughs> Strange. <laughs> well, we almost just crashed into a bunch of people. <laughs> What are we doing, boys? Ready to see Bam? Trying not to get fast bite. Oh. <laughs> That's a that's a good goal. <laughs> I'm clearly not worried about it at all. You need to totally pull the strings as tight as you can. To have like the tip of your nose hanging out. <laughs> you and I are both failing. We're totally getting frostbite. Waiting for Bam. <laughs> we have an hour to stand here. Well, just about. A little under an hour. It's 12 degrees. It's all. I've never done this before, but all that I know is that I have 313 tattooed on my lip. Dearborn, Michigan for $40,000 and I'm never taking the fuck off. I'm married twice and my second wife says, why do you not take that off? I go, because it's $40,000 and I'm not going to replace it with a $100 ring. So it's there forever and it's here to stay. So this is the first time I've ever done this, so it's a question and answer. You can ask, ask anything to me because I have no fucking filter. That's why Howard Stern likes me so much because <laughs> I'll talk about whatever you want to talk about. Hey, uh, all right, guys. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna I'm gonna ask Bam a bunch of questions, some shit you guys might want to hear. First thing, Bam, I have to ask you is you've taken a lot of crazy trips, like you've been all over the world. What are some of the craziest stories that you've had on the flight of an airplane? That's something I think people want to hear. <laughs> well, Virgin Airlines is probably the best airplane I've ever been on. And uh, once I was in a first class airplane going to London from Philadelphia, I'm like, what? There's a sit down bar and you can just sit here and order as many drinks as you want for free? This is the best airplane ever. Yeah. Yeah. So now, I'm with this chick named Nas Tokyo, who's an Iranian rapper, and her mom is, <laughs> she's an uh, opera singer, and she's there to play a big concert in the auditorium, and uh, I see her swallow this pill. I was like, what was that? She's like, it's a sleeping pill. I'm like, let me get one. <laughs> so I take one. I black out <laughs> on all this red wine and the pill she gave me only to wake up to me fingering her in her bed, making out with her, and her mom is slapping me awake. I think this lady wants to sign up for that. On Virgin Airlines, and, and the mom is like, what are you doing? And I'm, 
I don't know what to do. So I go to the bathroom to you try take your to... your fingers out of there? I try to get it? myself together in the fucking bathroom only to fall asleep in it and they had to jimmy the fucking lock open. <laughs> so you said jimmy your fingers out. <laughs> to open up the door to figure out what I was doing in there. I was just simply sleeping because I didn't want to sleep next to the lady who slapped me all night about finger her sister. <laughs> well, this is oh. Detroit. They fingered their sisters, man. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Oh, don't act like you haven't, guys. So listen, what about Chris Pontius? I mean, that guy's a crazy bastard. You've probably been on the plane with him once or well, twice. Here's another one. We're on a flight to Tokyo, and we're 300, <laughs> a thousand miles up in the air, and he decides to grab all of his luggage and walk towards the front of the airplane. And the stewardess is like, what are you doing? He's like, well, I'm getting off the airplane. Uh, there's nine more hours left, and we're <laughs> so then he decides to piss his own pants, and then he gets piss all over his shirt, realizes that, and he takes his shirt off. Now he's shirtless, and he looks at the whole fucking airplane like this with his shirt off, and he goes, "I will not apologize about my manly physique." <laughs> then he falls to the ground with his pissy pants, and then they help him back up. I'm like. This is a fucking disaster. The, pro the problem with telling that story is a lot of these kids are going to think that peeing your pants is cool, and we don't want we don't want that message. But what about I, I, I mean, what's next for Bam Margera? I think that's what people want to hear right now. Is, is unfiltered something? Well, I'm getting the uh, park redone. I've been doing a lot of comic cons, and you know what, Giant Knoxville redoing the park at your house, the skate park. Jeff Tremaine is so busy doing his fucking uh, movie with MGK, which is rad. No, MGK is fucking awesome. I don't care what anybody says. These are Eminem fans, man. It's Detroit. If you count the points on MGK's facts about Sway not being, why do you not let Sway be a... If you listen to all the facts, Eminem comes back with what kind of cereal is eaten? <laughs> Yeah, well, back with, yeah. I'll give you my flannel so you can go fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> I love them both. So you but... fuck with MGK and Eminem. Well, yeah, because he got a jackass tattoo. Yeah. Oh, shit. Any of you guys have a jackass tattoo? Yeah. You guys got a fucking lame. That's lame. <laughs> We're doing tattoos after this. But I gotta say, Eminem is the best, and he's ir irreplaceable. I mean, this but, is the thing that started MGK the is also the shit, too. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, of course. He had um, the balls to fucking come out and, and talk shit on Eminem. You know how scary that would be? Fuck yeah. He did that, and, and he did that. He didn't back I down either. Yeah, yeah he course. didn't back down. Yeah. Anybody else would get fucking creamed in a heartbeat. Yeah. So, now, you've also done a lot of stuff with Tony Hawk, who's fucking revolutionary in the skateboard yeah. business. Just like yourself, what do you think is the craziest thing you've ever done with Tony Hawk? Because, like, he doesn't talk about I think it was the letter that my mom found when I was in fifth grade that said, when I become a pro skater, I'm going to be best friends with Tony Hawk and drive a red Ferrari. Well, when I was 18, Tony Hawk bought me a red Ferrari and I was in the That's studio. manifestation at its fucking finest, folks. I was at a gas station last week eating a honey bun going, I want to be with Bam Margera next week. <laughs> I think we should give a shout out to 313, Aaron. Yeah, Hale. give a shout out to 313. <laughs> Dearborn, Michigan. That's dope, man. That's dope. And you're showing a lot of love to the people here. Because this is the first place we decided to bring the Unfiltered Tour. So you guys are the first ones seeing this shit. But I'm loving it. Is there anything else you want to close with here? Is there any other stories you want to tell? I gotta take a fucking piss. Alright, cool, guys. Listen. You guys had fun tonight. You guys had fun being watching. folks. So we just got out of there. We're standing by, I think that's Bam's bus. So it's pretty sweet. I've wanted to meet him my whole life. So we got some uh, autographs. It's awesome. But it is freezing. My legs are cold. Well, cold and hurting. So now we get to drive home. But what do you guys think?
Is it cool? Red, red you, show. You enjoy it? Oh, yeah, yeah. awesome. Where, where are you at? I'm over here. You got a frame. <laughs> I'm always in frame, man. Wait, 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 wait. Are you got a frame? No. <laughs> but, yeah. We're going to get out of here. So. We're going to get run over. That's just going to happen. Like the video, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. Peace. Peace out.